I am glad to be speaking at this wonderful conference. My name is Ansofa Petronella Sampa. I am 28 years old and I was, I was born with HIV. I lost my father when I was two years old and I lost my mother when I was 10 years old. After I lost my mom, I was put on treatment and no one told me that I was taking antiretroviral treatment. HIV that time was not a topic. I couldn't stand in front of anyone and talk about it. Worse still, the society didn't even allow us to even discuss anything with HIV. Then we only talked about HIV as a sexually transmitted disease. And for a long time, for the seven years that I lived before I lost my sight, I struggled with understanding how a young person like me would have HIV, especially that I was not sexually active. The thing was, HIV then was only related to sexual acts. And I didn't understand as a young person how I could have had HIV. In the long run, I stopped adhering to my treatment because I wanted to just give up and die. I had no counseling. Yes, I used to go to the hospital and access treatment, but then the doctors never talked to me, neither did the nurses. They used to talk to my guardians. And in that, I realized that HIV was not something I really wanted to be associated with. And I stopped taking and adhering to my treatment. In 2009, I suffered from meningitis, which led to my sight loss and partial deafness in my right ear. After losing my sight, and I started learning Braille, and also trying to adjust to a new life that I'm now having a disability. I realized that it was even more harder to access treatment and services with pers for persons with disabilities, especially those of us that are living with blindness. I always had to go with somebody to access this treatment. And if I had that nobody, then I wouldn't access them. There were challenges when sometimes I'll be given the same type of bottles, which I couldn't identify. So instead, somebody always has to be there to help me access them. I realized that we needed to do a lot and then decided to do a psychosocial counseling training so I could understand more about this HIV, this AIDS. I also had to learn about how to go about talking to people that are living with HIV. And it also came to mind that not only persons without disabilities can have HIV, but it's actually everybody. That's why I think it's even called HIV human immunodeficiency virus, because it's for everybody. I realized there were myths around HIV that no person with a disability can have HIV because then it was a cure. Those are some of the cultural norms that we believed and some people still believe that in my country. Sadly enough, we've had cases of young people that have been defiled in trying to find a cure for HIV. My appeal to everybody listening and hoping that in, from this conference, one or, we'll learn one or two things, is that HIV chooses nobody. And like they say, you're either affected or infected. I know for sure that at least in one home, there's at least one person living with HIV or with a disability. How are we ensuring that these people access the right services or even the knowledge? We need to break the barriers towards HIV and actually help one another because I believe there's no going back. I always tell people the change we want to see begins within us. What do you tell the people next to you about HIV? And what are you doing about it? So from this conference, my appeal would be, one, let's ensure that we work with persons with disabilities in the fight against HIV, for even they are part of the fight. Two, let's make services accessible to all persons with disabilities, for there are various disabilities in the world. And there's no way that none of them cannot have access. In my country, Zambia, we have a lot of poor infrastructure. So it's difficult for most persons, especially my friends on wheelchairs, to access services that have to go to the hospitals. So instead, they shun away because they can't find ways of getting up there because there are no ramps or staircases that can help them. So let's make it more accessible for persons with disabilities to access. I feel like even the knowledge that we have given to most persons with disabilities has not been enough. And that's why we find less participation from persons with disabilities in the fight against HIV because they don't know. 
I believe we can make a difference. And I hope that from this conference, we'll learn from one another and make a better tomorrow. Thank you and hope we have a good time together.